what we were learning about yesterday. Give me one thing. Observations and questions about what, Gavin? About what about volcanoes? What do we observe and, and form questions about? Luke? What did we form observations and questions about? Nadia? The pictures. The pictures. So we skimmed through all the text and uh, actually really liked your observations and questions. I went through all of them. But before we get into that, I want to challenge you guys. All right? So we have this image up here, which should help you remember different parts of the volcano. So. With a fist, this means false. Peace sign means true. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Lava is what is inside the volcano. Lava is inside the volcano. And I should see every hand up. Lava is inside the volcano. Did you need something? She left. Brianna She's with the God group right now. Uh -huh. She left her. Um, Does she need that for reading? Maybe. She's out in the front of the cottage. You're out in the front of the cottage. In the front? In the front of the building. All right, I'm seeing mostly, mostly this. So, Kayla, can you tell me why you put a fist up? You said molten rock. What does that mean? What is molten? Molten. If magma is inside the volcano and it's moving, what do you think molten means? Melted rock. Melted rock. So magma is inside. And then lava, true or false, lava is inside the volcano as well. True or false? Lava is inside the volcano. A peace sign for true, fist for false. Seeing mostly fist again. Tia, why? Can you speak up? The lava is what's outside. Right. Good job. So let's look at this diagram any kids who weren't here yesterday. I need someone to explain to my couple kids who weren't here yesterday what this diagram is showing you and why this will help you remember. Ryan, why, why would this help us remember? And I want you to notice that it starts from A and goes all the way down to Z. Come in. You guys might have to grab more chairs. Uh, lava is just outside of the volcano and the L is outside the volcano, but the M is inside of the stands for magma, which is inside the volcano. Can everyone see that? I know it's a little bit hard to see in the back. So it's going from A to Z, and then the L in the alphabet comes before M. So L for lava, which is right outside the volcano, which I drew. So you want my autograph. There. And the M is just below the surface. And what is the surface called? What is that layer called? of the earth. And it might help for you to remember this model. Which two zooms in now. But this model, what is this blue layer called on the earth? Hamza? The crust. So what is the crust for us? What is the crust on the earth? Cameron? The ground. Hmm? The ground. Like the ground is what we're standing on. Very good. All right, so before we get back into reading, I just wanted to point out that I went through all of your observations and questions yesterday. They were so good that you had questions in there that I really wanted to learn, okay? So you inspired me, you inspired me. So now I really want to find out. So for the couple kids who weren't here, we went through and just made an observation and a question for a few pictures. So I went through and I pulled some of your questions, things that 
that I want to know by the end of this reading, and if I don't discover it in the book, which I hope I will, if I don't discover it there, then I'm going I want you guys to discover it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So I went through, pulled out most of the questions that you guys used. This was just mine. And I created these note-taking packets for you guys. And they're all your questions. Nothing in here is from me. They're all yours. So I'm going to put them on your desk. You can just put your name on the top. Let's see, you have six here. Put your names on the top. Subject, date. So just look at the very first one. You didn't get one? Hmm? Okay, here you go. Oh, there are two people there. Look at the very first one. So everything that I have on the PowerPoint is in your packet. These are just the questions that I had. Because remember, the first front cover, that's mine. And then if you look at the next one, it says, why does lava erupt out of a volcano? And these are your questions. B, how many volcanoes are in the world? Excellent question. You might recognize some of your questions up here. You don't have to let me know if it's yours, but I know. How hot is lava? Can lava burn through boulders? Very specific. What is specific, Nick? What does specific mean? So I know exactly what you're asking. Excuse me. Um, can I just throw an announcement? Guys, I do have to cancel band lessons today. My little one just got sick of school and I have to go pick her up. So he will make it up, but no band lessons for today. Okay. All right. Oh, Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. So for every picture that you all form questions about, I want you to go through, as we're reading, and be thinking about some of these questions. We're not going to answer them now. I'm going to give you a time at the end. But as we're reading, we're going to try to answer all of the questions in this packet and see how many we can find in the text. So what do you think I want you to do on the note-taking side if you find a question? Because you see they're labeled A, B, and C. So if you're answering the question for A, on the note-taking side, what do you think I want you to do? Who knows? Danielle? Write, write an A and your answer. But what else do you think I need? Because I need to know where you got it, right? What else do you think I need you to show? Information from the text. Do you think I want exactly that line from the text? Akshat, how do you think I should? Put it in your own words. And what else do you think I need so I can quickly see where you got that information? Andrew, page a page number. That will be helpful. So you guys can turn these over, okay? I just wanted to review it before going. And great job yesterday. All right. Who knows what page we were on? Cameron. Page two? No, no, not in the packet. You can turn those over. Turn that over in your book. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> what page are we on? Yes. 87. 80, not 87. Oh. Maria? 89. Page 89. So what's the last thing that we write on page 88? Who can recap that quickly? Cameron? The volcano that didn't erupt for over a century. How long is that? 
How long is over a century? Maddie? So over 100 years. And what was that crater, or what was that volcano called? What was the name of that volcano? And if you don't know, because I want to see every hand in the air, before, I'm going to close my eyes for three seconds. If you don't know, go back to that last page and find out. Three, two, when I open my eyes, I better see every hand up. One. Or to pick anyone. Yes. It's Mount St. Helens. Very good. So Mount St. Helens didn't erupt for over a century. Then what happened? After it did not erupt for over a century. And what is that type of volcano called that doesn't erupt for a long time? Close my eyes. Look back on the page. The vocabulary word. Not ready. Three, two, no, switch, one. Oh, wow, Tia. Um, extinct volcano? Not extinct, but good guess. Extinct means it hasn't erupted in how many years? Thousands and thousands of years. So just before being extinct, what is that word? Look down, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Nadia. Dormant. Dormant volcano. Very good. Okay, so after it didn't erupt because it was dormant, they thought it was extinct, probably that's why they were all living there. After that, then what happened? Hope. What? What happened? It did? It didn't erupt. Mount St. Helens. And the picture on 87 might help you. Clue. Nothing wrong with using pictures. Oh. It erupted. It erupted. Right. And does anyone remember what that eruption was compared to? What the what the strength of that eruption was compared to? Yes. A million sticks of dynamite. How many million? Over, over 10 million. So that's a lot right there. So he was even more than that. Over 10 million. Tons. It was tons of dynamite, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Then we are left with what's on page 88. What happened? This is the same volcano. What happened to it? Caleb. Right, and formed what on top? The crater. Good job. All right, very good. So let's pick up, I need my easy finger. Let's pick up on page 89. And you all pretty much had awesome questions for this map. So be thinking about the questions you were asking as we're reading. I'm going to read the first paragraph, and then I'm going to let you guys start reading. All right? Volcanoes don't just happen any place. The Earth's crust is broken into huge sections, like a giant cracked eggshell. The pieces of the crust are called plates. The United States, Canada, and Mexico, and part of the North Atlantic Ocean are all on the North American plate. Almost all of the volcanoes in the world erupt in places where two plates meet. Very good. Um, not me, loudly. Very good. Who knows what a chain of under 
underwater volcanoes is. What does that mean if there's a chain of volcanoes? I'm going to give you a clue. So you can leave your hands up and think about this. But for anyone who's not sure, I specifically wore a bracelet today. What is my bracelet on? What is that on? I know it's on a chain. And what are the chains? What is the chain like? The pieces in the chain. Because each little section is a part of the chain. And they are together. So if it's a chain of underwater volcanoes, what does that make you think it is? Danielle. Yeah, they're all in a row. They're kind of, so be, even beyond being placed together, they are what? Who said it? They're what? They're connected, right. So it's a chain of underwater volcanoes. So boop, 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 all together. All right, very good. Who would like to read on? I just want to make sure you understand that. Cameron, in a loud speaking voice, please. Iceland is a volcanic island in the, in the north of Atlantic. In 1963, the area of the sea near Iceland began to smoke. An interesting volcano was exploring, and a new island was being formed. The island was named Sirkisu, after the ancient Norse of the god of fire. sentence in the first paragraph. An undersea volcano was exploding and a new island was being formed. Tia? Um, it meant that when the volcano was erupting, I think uh, they, the volcano was like making a new island. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? So even right now, this was only in 1963. So maybe right around the time when your parents were born, maybe they were born a little bit after, more like my parents, there was a new island being formed. So imagine like out of nowhere in the middle of the ocean, there's a new place you can visit. I mean, it's gonna take a while, let some of the devastation settle down, but then there's a new place. So new land is being formed in a way I mean, I know that volcanoes are very destructive, but do you see how it's also creating something new? So imagine you leave your home for a year and you come back. So they reclaim their island after the volcanic eruption and they have a mountain. They never had a mountain before. How tall was that mountain or volcano? Actually, I bet that changed their lives. Imagine leaving Maryland and you come back and. Okay, now your school's on the top of a mountain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if it's hard walking to school, walk to school day is going to get a lot harder. Very good. Who would like to read on? Ivan? And it's talking about 
the edges of the Pacific Plate. And the Pacific Plate, you could see a picture of that if you refer back to page 89, that map that they gave you, we can figure out why that's there. I want everyone to look at the Pacific Plate and notice something about it and why this particular plate might be called the Ring of Fire. Think about what you know about a ring. I'm sorry I'm not wearing one, but it goes all the way around. Sarah. So where's the Pacific Plate? Okay, you found it, good. So what's special about this plate? And how do you know there are volcanoes all around it? Okay, that's one way. And what do we say about where plates meet? Here's the Pacific Plate and all these plates are meeting towards it. So what do we say about that area? What happens? What happens? If they're rubbing together or pulling apart, I think they're creating friction. Gavin? Okay. Well, an earthquake possibly, yeah. So that's something you guys learned before. Very good. And Tia? Um, when two plates just meet, the volcano will erupt. Right, so volcanoes can erupt there. So think about that. It's this area, and it's connected like in a circle, almost like a funny ring, but it is a ring. And it's called the Ring of Fire because there are volcanic eruptions there. Good job, little investigators. Okay. Who would like to read one? Good job. to form rivers or lakes or spouts a few hundred feet in the air or in a fiery fountain. <coughs> Hawaiian volcanoes erupt much more gently than did Sertsky and Mount St. Helens. Only rarely does Hawaiian, vol Hawaiian volcano throw out rock and high clouds of ash. Very good. And um, I know that a couple of you asked questions about the way volcanoes erupt. If you recall that, someone said, what makes a volcano erupt rather than just flow out smoothly? This might be a good page to note and go back to, you might want to write down page 91 because I think we found our answer here. All right. Something else. Mauna Loa. Okay, I'll have to come back and let you know that one. Don't worry about that right now. Thank you. Okay, who would like to read the next paragraph? 
Oxtail. Thank you. against the rock and break tiny pieces off of the rock and the tiny pieces of rock crash back onto the rock which um, makes the rock keep, keep having little um, specks to break off. Okay, Fist, if you think that's false and please not think that if you think that's true. All right, very good, thank you. We'd like to read that last paragraph. Andrew? Hawaiian lava is very much a little quicker. In some lava lakes, speeds as high as 35 miles per hour can be In an eruption in 1986, a number of houses were threatened by the quick, by the quick moving lava. Firefighters sprayed water on the lava to slow down its very good. And please show me One of my favorite pictures. Uh -huh. When lava forms in gardens, it forms volcanic, vo vo volcanic rocks. The kinds of rocks formed are clues to the kind of eruption. The two main kinds have Hawaiian names. Thick, slow moving lava crust, ah uh ah, -uh, turns into a rough tangle of Sharp rocks. Turn out quickly, lava crops. Mahoe, Mahoe, Mahoe. Good job. Form a smooth, the rolling surface. The rolling surface. So I want you to say, ah, ah. 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 And what kind of, uh, what kind of hardened lava is that? Ah, ah is what kind? Mm hmm. Mahoe, Mahoe. That's the other kind. What is, what kind is ah, ah? Cameron. Slow moving. slow moving. So the type of volcanoes that have lava that comes out very slow and smooth, when it hardens, that type of rock is called, or that type of lava, excuse me, not when it hardens, that type of lava is called ah uh ah. -uh. So what's a way to remember that? It's nice and smooth and flowing ah uh ah. -uh. And then if it's like explosive, what is that? It's quick moving. Thin, hot, quick moving lava is what? Bahoe -ho 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 -ho. So it's really coming at you. Okay, that's how I would remember it. Right on the spot. All right. That's a good place to leave off. So, what I'm going to have you do for the last few minutes, start your, start your package, but I want you to team up with someone, someone from Miss Reynolds' group. I want you to team up with someone from Miss Miller's group. So, all of Miss Miller's kids stand up. Line up on the front, please, with your books and your packets and a pencil. Go find a spot in the room. Start. Oxtail. 
not meet. You two can move somewhere else or stay at your desk since you have spots here, wherever you like. Grayson, all right, good. Kyle, good. Now from that end, Luke, pick someone. Quickly. All right. I know, look at the front. Look at the front PowerPoint. 